Neil Ratner Rock Doc with a story. A week or two ago, I posted about Neil Young and his album Harvest. And I told the story of Neil being in Nashville for an appearance on the Johnny Cash Show and ending up recording the album in Elliot Mazur's new studio. So, Heart of Gold, the song, by the way, is Neil Young's only number one single in the U.S. And that song was recorded early in the sessions. Neil wrote the song in 1971 after he had suffered a pretty serious back injury, which made it hard for him to stand and play the electric guitar. So he went back to acoustic and harmonica. Now, Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor were also on the cast show with Young and agreed to come down to the studio and sing backup vocals on the tune. And according to Linda, it wasn't easy. We were sat on the couch in the control room, but I had to get up on my knees to be on the same level as James because he's so tall. Then we sang all night, the highest notes I could sing. It was so hard, but nobody minded. It was dawn when we walked out the studio. Recording the track, however, took no time at all. Mazer had brought in some very professional session musicians who knocked it out in two takes, which is exactly the feel he was looking for. Kind of like the old days when tape was rolling and it was more about being in the moment than a tweaked, well-rehearsed song. The song did very well. As I said, it was Neil's only number one and typical of Young. He hated the fame he received from the song. And in the liner notes for his compilation album, Decade, released in 1977, Neil said, and I quote, this song put me in the middle of the road. Traveling there soon became a bore, so I headed for the ditch. Although in later years, he said he thought Harvest was the finest record he ever made. Let's listen for a minute. So there's a very funny story about the song and Bob Dylan. Neil was not shy about telling people how much he idolized Bob. But according to Dylan, he went way too far with this song. And I quote, The only time it bothered me that someone sounded like me was when I was living in Phoenix, Arizona in about 72 and the big song at the time was Heart of Gold. I used to hate it when it came on the radio. <laughs> I always liked Neil Young but it bothered me every time I listened to Heart of Gold. I think it was up at number one for a long time and I'd say shit that's me. If it sounds like me, it should as well be me. Alright, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Neil Ratnarata. Have a great Sunday. And I'll see you soon.